Seven million dollars in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los okay. Angeles. ACLU is a human rights organization. Sorry, ACLU uh, is a prominent um, uh, organization, nonprofit organization in the United States. Yeah. It's called the American right. Civil Liberties Union, and they work on behalf of marginalized communities uh, on the ground and in legislative reform. Right. And well, more power to you because that's that's something that I've never I heard. I wanted of, uh, nothing. Did Amber Heard sleep with the ACLU head for protection and to frame Johnny Depp? Shocking new reports reveal that Amber Heard has been secretly hooking up with the executive director of the American Civil Liberties Union. But how true are these reports? The relationship between Amber Heard and the organization is a lot shadier than you think. The American Civil Liberties Union was one of the charities that Amber pledged to donate her divorce settlement that she received from Johnny Depp. And in case you didn't know, it was this organization that brought up the idea of writing an op-ed, where the organization acted as the ghost writer for Amber's infamous op-ed in the Washington Post. During the trial, it was revealed by Terrence Doherty, the chief operating officer and general counsel of the organization, that Amber had promised to donate $3.5 million and in return the organization named her an ambassador on women's rights with a focus on gender-based violence. It was also revealed that Amber Heard had a meeting with the members of the organization about the op-ed where it was decided that the organization would be writing the first draft of the op-ed. Often a decision has to be made when we're working with ambassadors or with other um, people who are speaking to the public who does the first draft of the um, document. So it sounds here that um, Jerry is saying that we are that from Jess's conversation with Amber, we are moving forward with some kind of an op-ed and that ACLU um, communications department staff members would be writing the first draft. It was also revealed that Amber pushed for the op-ed to be released around the same time as Aquaman for maximum publicity. But as soon as the op-ed was released, Amber heard switched faces and never paid any of her donations. In return, the organization accepted payments from both Johnny Depp and Elon Musk. So why is the ACLU still trying to protect Amber? According to inside sources, Amber has personal connections inside the organization. And rumor has it that Amber has been secretly hooking up with Anthony D. Romero, the executive director of the organization. Shortly after TMZ published photos of Amber Heard shopping at a discounted section at TJ Maxx, a tweet went viral where the user shared photos of Amber shopping at TJ Maxx dressed in boyfriend jeans and an oversized white shirt, and wrote, Anthony Romero of a CLU happens to live in the Hamptons. Amber Heard wears a man's shirt in the Hamptons TJ Maxx. Wonder whose it is. Shortly after that the popular Instagram celebrity gossip account confirmed that Anthony Romero was with Amber and Whitney at TJ Maxx and he paid for everything they bought by writing, subject, faux poverty, message, Amber and Whitney heard spotted by sales associate taking footage of each other at TJ Maxx in the Hamptons accompanied by ACLU Bigwig Romero who was paying for everything. The organization is not only protecting Amber, but they are also suing Johnny Depp. The organization is suing Johnny for $86,000 on the grounds that this is the amount they spent on witness and subpoena documentation during the defamation trial. In response, Johnny's legal team filed a motion with New York State's Supreme Court opposing the organization's demands. Respondents request for an excess of $86,000 in expenses associated with their court-ordered document production is not only exorbitant and unreasonable, but unsupported by New York law. Reacting to all of this, users online say this is another of Amber's evil ways of trying to destroy Johnny and the organization should really start reconsidering their support of Amber in case they don't want to ruin themselves. Like one person wrote, I cannot support the ACLU as long as Anthony Romero is employed or affiliated with them. I cannot support the ACLU unless they dissociate with and denounce Amber Heard. Fans also think that Amber chooses her victims very carefully and she might have something really shady on the organization, the same way it is rumored she has dirt on Elon Musk. She has to have dirt on all of them. She has probably recorded everyone in her circle. Another user said, is anyone surprised that Amber sleeps around? She chooses her me carefully, powerful men. Amber, please disappear.
Another person commented that the ACLU is probably still financing her lavish lifestyle if she really is broke, who paid for Amber's stay at the $22,000 a month mansion if she was so broke. Also, who paid for her private jet to NY. Do you think the ACLU will continue supporting Amber Heard? Does she really has some dirt on all of them? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more celeb news just like this.